Welcome back friends. In this video we will be talking about promoters of eukaryotic RNAs. Right? Now there are three different type of RNAs that are found in eukaryotic system. And those are, we all know that, this is very simple. One is mRNA or messenger RNA. And second one is the tRNA or transfer RNA. And one which is the most common, most abundant in the cell is rRNA or ribosomal RNA. Right? So these are the three major type of RNA that are found. And we also know, we have already uh, thought about all those things, that among these three RNAs, there are three different polymerase proteins that help transcribing these three different type of RNA, right? Now, what do you mean by transcription? It's very basic. We are having a DNA sequence. So, let me uh, look at the basic thing. So, we have a DNA sequence. From the DNA, we are producing RNA. So, this is called transcription. Now for this transcription process in eukaryotic system, for the three different variety of tRNA, uh, RNA, or mRNA, whatever, three different varieties of RNA, we are having three different types of uh, polymerase or RNA polymerase, right? So the polymerase that transcribe is RNA polymerase. So we are having three different RNA polymerase available inside this eukaryotic cell. Okay, now in this video, I'm going to talk about the promoter region and the structure of promoter region in case of uh, one of them. Here in this video, I'll be talking about uh, the structure of the promoter region of this uh, tRNA, for example. So let's talk about tRNA. Uh, so in this video, okay. So in tRNA, so when you talk about promoter, you need to think about a very important concept that promoter is found in DNA, right? Because uh, if you remember the concept of uh, prokaryotic system, we can know that there are DNA sequences and inside somewhere there is a region or a nucleotide sequence. Now, that nucleotide sequence is called promoter and not all the nucleotide sequence, but that stretch of nucleotide sequence which helps to initiate the transcription from a particular point, it helps initiation of binding of all those polymerase enzyme is called the promoter. Right? Now this promoter region for prokaryotes are very small stretch of sequences. This is only one type of sequences. But in case of eukaryotes, the promoter sequence is large. It is made up with two or three repeat sequences. Now those promoter sequence can bind with polymerase. They can bind with transcription factors. Remember I have told about, uh, talked about transcription factors. So the promoter that we are going to talk about, it can bind with uh, RNA polymerase. So this is one. It also binds with transcription factors are also called as TFs, right? Generalized transcription factor or specialized transcription factor. They can bind with both of them, right? So that's why promoter sequence is very, very vital for the transcription of a particular gene which resides downstream of promoter. Now, we all know that if this is uh, the place of a promoter, if this is the point, downstream means this direction, upstream means this direction. Right? So let's find that this is a promoter. In prokaryotic cell, we are having a promoter somewhere. We are having rest of the gene to be transcribed downstream of that promoter. Right? But in case of this eukaryotes also, we are going to see the same thing, but slight modifications will be there. For example, in case of this promoter of tRNA region. Right? So now, what do you mean by the promoter of tRNA? That the promoter of tRNA, when it is transcribing the gene uh, downstream of that promoter, it produces tRNA. Right? Because remember there are three types of RNAs. Now whenever we in prokaryotic system we are talking about, in eukaryotic system all the time when you talk about transcription, we always mean mRNA. Right? Because we simply, I always draw the picture on my own also in many videos, in many uh, presentations that DNA produces RNA, from the RNA it produces protein. But this RNA can only translate it into protein if this RNA is mRNA, right? But it can be tRNA, it can be rRNA, right? Because the tRNA and rRNA are also important like mRNAs inside the cell. So what, what will happen when they are transcribing tRNA, when they are transcribing rRNA? We never talked about that. Now in this video, we are going to talk about those things. Now, when you transcribe this part, what it produces? It produces a nascent RNA chain. So let me draw. If, if this is the nascent RNA chain, this will be folded and it will provide us, remember, the tRNA structure like that. So it produces this kind of uh, tRNA structure. But this is a tertiary structure of tRNA. So, this structure will be attained uh, further uh, later, but at the very beginning, it, it produces this tRNA. So, let me write it here, tRNA. So, we are talking about this particular section. 
Now in this DNA of this tRNA uh, transcript portion, it consists of a promoter region. The promoter is specific, it is important because we are going to see the promoter that is found for the tRNA is different for, from rRNA and mRNA. Remarkably different, right? And that those promoter sequences, the special sequences regulate and identifies and tell the cell to produce a type of RNA, right? That means uh, the promoter sequence present in mRNA, it, it will suggest the cell to transcribe into a mRNA but not the tRNA like that. So in this case of this whole DNA sequence, there is two, there, there are two important regions in case of this tRNA especially. And this tRNA promoter is very, very important because remember, in, if, you, if you remember the, your previous knowledge of bacterial uh, transcript and the bacterial transcript, the operon system, in the operon system, uh, in most of the time what we draw usually, usually that if this is the DNA, there is somewhere here is the promoter and right after that we draw operator right like that and we are having our uh, desired gene of interest and upstream we are having some uh, binding factor or element something like that it can be present it may not be present but these are the two important part of a bacterial transcript right now in this case promoter operator complex is there and what we find always is that promoter must be placed before or upstream of the desired gene note this point the promoter must be present upstream of the desired gene. We always found this thing. So it's kind of universal for us. But now we are going to see that in case of the tRNA promoter, it never maintains this process. Because in tRNA, promoter is placed somewhere middle inside the gene. So that is, it is called the promoter is embedded in the gene. So this embedding promoter concept is only found in case of eukaryotic tRNA promoter system. So that is very, very unique in eukaryotic system okay so in this case and uh, it is very logical that promoter must be present upstream because promoter is the region where uh, uh, polymerase will sit and transcribe this rest of the gene but so the promoter if the promoter is in downstream so the genes never be transcribed but in case of this eukaryotic system it is placed something like that not the whole downstream but somewhere middle in the gene so if you draw this promoter sequence the promoter sequence of tRNA is consisting of two different colors region one is the uh, control element or CE another one is the core promoter region so if I draw it here so these are the two sec sections so this is one and let's say this is another so this is control elements it is present two or three repeats here and here it is this one is called the core promoter section so these are the important part and I remind you that these three different section of nucleotide stretch, all of them are called promoter. So it is never like that. This is a promoter. This is another promoter. This is another promoter. Never like that. All of them is part of the same promoter. They are placed distantly. That's all. And the gene of interest start from, let's say, somewhere here from this section. It starts from this section and like that. So, the, so you can see this control elements are embedded in the desired gene region. So this is a desired gene. Okay. Or sometimes it can also be seen this core ele element or the control element is present downstream of our desired gene. So in that case, what will be the structure? In that case, what we get, we get this. So let me draw it again. So let's say here it is, if this is the DNA. Let's say this is the core and say this is the control element and here it is our desired gene. This is the gene, this is the control elements and this is the promoter, core promoter. So these are the three different sections, right? Now here we can see this is a part of a promoter, this is a part of a promoter but both of them contain uh, both of them are called a single promoter, but still they are distantly related, distantly placed. So the promoter sequences, so the gene is present somewhere middle of the promoter region. That is the thing. That is the beauty of this process. That is the uniqueness. Now, now you may uh, ask me a question that what will happen then? How this gene can be transcribed? Because for the gene to be transcribed, there must be promoter upstream. Now we can see in this picture, yes, there is an upstream element somewhere placed here as a promoter. This is called the core promoter sequence. So, the transcription event can be possible. But what is the role of this control elements? 
the answer is this control elements are helping this core promoter to increase the affinity towards the RNA polymerase. Now for the transcription of our tRNA we require RNA polymerase 3 right so for tRNA we require polymerase 3 and also some transcription factors called TF3 right because for the polymerase 3 requires TF3 or transcription factor 3 it can be transcription factor 3A transcription factor 3B transcription factor 3C something like that okay now this control elements are helping this core promoter to increase the affinity towards this polymerase 3 so that the transcription occurs pretty fast right and another important thing you can ask me another question that this how control element uh, talk with this core promoter region right now simple the answer is simple because in eukaryotic system all the time you know that, that this DNA folds to have a contact with each other simple in this case also it folds like that it will fold like that so like that here it will be so if I draw this structure like that here it will be the core promoter sequence let's draw this one and here will be the control elements so the control elements now are very close to the core promoter region so that they can interact with itself using using some mediators so let me draw the mediators in this case the mediators are transcription factors so these are tf 3 is in this case so here comes the role of transcription factors so they they help to hold on to this core promoter and attach this core promoter with this uh, this sequence this gene and uh, this upstream control element sequence and rest of the gene is placed there and once they are interacted they recruit the polymerase 3 and the whole transcription process will begin so this is how the whole system actually works now in this case the transcription factors we actually rely on are transcription factor 3c and transcription factor 3b so first transcription factor 3c binds in core promoter as well as control elements then they recruit transcription factor 3b and then they fold this dna and once they fold the dna bringing this uh, uh, actual promoter and control element closer to each other then they uh, increase the affinity of polymerase towards this particular promoter segment so polymerase will come and bind then they fall out and they make this DNA linear then they can transcribe this part of the gene and they produce this tRNA right so this is the process this is the process of uh, transcriptional initiation as well as the funda of promoter sequence in tRNA okay so that's it I hope that's helpful. Thank you.